Right, hello everyone and welcome back today. We're back with another episode of the Break and Nationally Chancer News, the series where we review all the signings that have been made in the National League and a few big ones that have happened outside the league. Before the video starts, I would like 145 likes. It's a big like target, but you've been smashing them recently, so go down there. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. We're like 35 away from 4,000. So if we could hit that soon, it'd be incredible. Tom Bradbury has left Halifax Town for Cheltenham. So the left-footed defender has made the switch to League One after a decent season for the Shaymen. He played a number of games last season and guided them to that playoff spot. And he's only 24, so he's got a big future ahead. And a great leader is the way... Cheltenham described him when he first joined so he's likely to fill the boots of Will Boyle who departed to Huddersfield Town. It's a big step up for Bradbury, um, whether he'll be ready for it we don't know yet but I'm sure he'll relish the challenge of playing in League One and he will thrive under the new manager whoever that will be. Sam Austin has joined Notts County from Kidderminster Harriers, yet another signing made from the Magpies. They aren't holding back in this transfer window. This time, it's former Kidderminster Harriers captain Sam Austin who joins on a three-year deal and an undisclosed fee. He was being monitored by the Magpies for a little while now, as described by Ryan Harley. 11 goals, 8 assists isn't too bad for the National League North. It's an interesting sign in this one because it's an undisclosed fee. Whether he'll be the man to play that creative role in the midfield, he might be, he might thrive, like we've said about Tom Bradbury, he might thrive going up a league. So they've got an incredible amount of attacking options now. Geraldo Bajrami, again, has left Kidderminster for Notts County. The saga doesn't end there. Notts County have yet again swooped another National League North duo. Bajrami is a six foot one centre half who had a really impressive season at the Harriers. He was wanted by a fair few EFL clubs, but not won the race to get him signed pen to paper. Bajrami was released by Birmingham City upon the 21-22 season where he joined Kidderminster. And no surprise, he had a really good season and then an interest has come in for him. And it's a good sign then, I think, for Notts County. Whether he'll partner Kyle Cameron or Baldwin at the back, they might play five at the back, um, which I think they have done before. So yeah, Bajrami is a Notts player. Malarkey Linton has joined Yeovil as a free agent. I'm very surprised about this one because, in my opinion, I thought Wickham would have kept him on and maybe given him another loan spell, but they've decided to release him and it's Yeovil who have snatched him up. The youngster has 8 in 28 for the Linnets last season and he will, will he be the man, sorry, to partner Holbert up front. Two new signings up top. It'll be interesting to see if those two do play up front together and can the new manager Hargreaves take him to the next level. It will be interesting to see how many goals Linton can produce this season. I give this a solid 7 out of 10 signing in my opinion. What a bit of business. Padraig Amund has joined Woking after he was released by Newport. The man notorious for his goals in the FA Cup has made the step down to Darren Sarles' cardinal side. This is a striker, don't forget, who possesses a great amount of experience. He got promoted last year with Exeter, playing a large amount of games, and he can score goals. He's proven that every season he's played, he's scored in League Two as well. So taking that step down, I am expecting him to score 12 plus goals, I think. He is 34, but I don't think age plays a factor in this one. He knows where the goal is. He knows how to hit the back of the net. And this is probably one of the best strikers there was available to sign in Woking's budget. And they've managed to get him in. This is a great signing made by Woking. Alex Curran has left Curzon Ashton for Macclesfield. This isn't National League, but this is a transfer that completely blew my mind. Now, the pacey playmaker has taken the step down two leagues to play in step eight of English football for Danny Whitaker's Macclesfield side. A fee rumoured to be around ninety to £100,000. Macclesfield are splashing the cash. And I didn't even know they had this type of funds available, but they've gone all guns blazing. They managed to lure Curran in. Now, this must have needed a lot of persuasion like we've already touched on. Curran was already one of the best midfielders in the National League North. Think what he's going to be in the league that Macclesfield are in, he's going to take that league by storm. 
Um, what signing this is, made by Danny Whittock. I'm sure Robbie Savage had a factor in this signing. But like I've said, an incredible signing for the Silkmen. Raheem Shackelford has joined Chesterfield from Maidenhead. So the former Maidenhead right back becomes Paul Cook's fifth summer signing. Game time for the young right back was limited last season, but he cemented himself as their main right back throughout the season. He's been at the club for a while, so it was a shame to see him go, as described by Maidenhead fans. And they've said he was a great asset at both ends of the pitch. He can attack and defend. I think this is a good signing for Chesterfield because I can't see him getting in ahead of Jeff King. But if Jeff King ever gets injured this season, I think Shackleford will be a perfect player to bring into this side he's probably one of the best backups you could have wished for so that is another episode of the breaking nationally chance and news completed let me know in the comment section what was the best signing in this list for me i'm going to say Padre gammond going to woking i think it's a really good signing for them as usual make sure to drop a like and click the red subscribe button make sure to turn it gray and let's see if we can hit 4,000 subscribers by this time next week. I'm sure it's 100% possible. So help out by clicking the red subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the video. The next one might be a Wrexham-related one regarding new signings. So keep an eye out for that. See you guys then. Take care.